okay guys uh, welcome back with our new video which is about the analysis of uh, bridge right and uh, we have to find the effect of moving load along the length of the bridge and uh, this uh, uh, this is the data or the given parameters the concrete material properties elastic modulus is 5000 ksi poisson's ratio is 0 0.2 and uh, this is your uh, elevation of the bridge right there are two columns or piers uh, with the uh, one is uh, 70 feet and the other one is 50 feet the span length are uh, uniform with 100 feet each the columns properties are here cross section area is 40 square feet moment of inertia is 400 and shear area is 30 square feet right similarly for the girders the area is 35 square feet moment of inertia is 500 and uh, shear area is 12 square feet there are two uh, lanes of uh, the deck uh, for example this line the line shown in the elevation is this line in the plan right this is the center line of the bridge and there are two lanes uh, one at the left and one at right of this center line which is shown here and uh, the offset of uh, the center line of each lane is six feet from the center line of the bridge or center line of the deck, right? So this is the given data and uh, we will uh, try to model the bridge, right? So let's start with the this thing and uh, going to the new model. In the new model, change the units from inch inches to feet, right? And uh, select the 2D frame. Now here, First of all, just uncheck this restraints because we will define it later. The number of stories, as you have seen, that there is only one number of story. So we will type one here and the story height. Uh, for now, we are making it 70 for both of them and we will later on edit it. The number of bays, you know, are three and the bay width is 100. Right? Now, uh, Coming to this uh, section properties, uh, there is no section defined, so let's click this plus sign and add new property. Here uh, we will go to the other and uh, select the general. Now uh, uh, the properties are given, for example, for column, with these properties we will use uh, these numbers to define the section. A is uh, 40, the moment of inertia. That is 400 and the shear area that is 30 square feet, right? As soon as I click it, it will give me access to this uh, window. Here I will change the name to column, right? And I will make sure that the material is uh, one that is uh, given in the uh, problem statement or which is required so click this plus now i if i click this add new material quick and select concrete from here it will give me different options i will select concrete with 6000 psi and okay now i will modify its property because in the given data the modulus of elasticity was 5000 and I have to change it from 4000 to 5000, right? Uh, the Poisson's ratio is 0 0.2 and it's okay. So just make sure that the 6000 is highlighted here and click OK button. Now you have defined the column section. Uh, I will go to add new property again, uh, click the general again and put the values for the girder one. So for the girder, the cross section area was 35. The moment of inertia was 500 and the shear area was 12 right okay so here i will change the name from rim section to girder right i will make sure that uh, material is 6000 and i will click ok now i have defined uh, both the properties in the beam section i will select the girder one and in the column section i will select the uh, column one. so border and column okay click ok button and you will see this one for now i am just uh, minimizing this uh, 3d view 
okay so this is your frame right now what i have to do is i'll go and uh, see the labels uh if you check the uh elevation there is no column at the start and the end so i will make it accordingly i will select these elements and i will just delete them okay i have deleted them and now i will define the supports at joint 2 3 5 and 8 okay so assign joint restraints and i will make sure that translation 1 2 3 are checked okay so these are as per our required figure right now the next thing next big thing is that i have to make it 50 now in order to make it 50 i will select this one as uh, the joint 5 i will go to the edit menu and edit point and i will sorry not edit point but move okay and i will type it uh, right now its length is 70 and i have to make it uh, 50 so i will just type 20 and the support moved 20 feet above and now this length is 50 feet and this length is 70 feet now you can see that elevation is exactly in match with our uh, required one okay now if i go to the uh, if i uh, select these lines because uh, why i am selecting this line i want to divide these lines uh, to, so that in the given uh, diagram they want me uh, to find the uh, results at this point A. So I have to divide these girders at the middle. So add it, then add it lines and divide frames, right? And make sure that two is typed uh, in the first box and one in the second box and click OK. So you can see that now, uh, okay, let me only make joints labels available. Now you see that the joint two the joint 9, 4, 10, 6, 11 and 8. Now uh, every girder has been divided into two parts. Right. So uh, till now what we have done is we have just uh, made the model and uh, uh, we have just uh, uh, assigned different sections the material for them and we have now uh, did it and we have uh, divided the uh, girders into two segments right now our next step will be uh, we will select all these girders you can select it uh, uh, one by one or you can select it by going to the select option select by properties and then by frame section and just select girder and you see all the girders have been selected okay so there are different options which you can access now i have selected this and i will go to the assign menu here i will go to the frame and output stations uh, the output station is basically about uh, what kind of uh, result do you want so if it is too low then the quality will be low and if it is too high the quality will be high okay so at the beginning i am putting it three and later on i will change it to to show you the effect of this property on the results right now uh, I have uh, clicked, uh, I have typed 3 and I have clicked OK. Just uh, press this button. Right. Now uh, I am done with the, this thing. Uh, which thing? I am done with the modeling. And now I have to start working on this bridge loads thing. Okay. So I will be working on this lane uh, in the next video. And uh, we will start from uh, where we are leaving it right now. Okay, thank you very much.